Hello, I'm Gino. Welcome to Dazzle TV. It's uh, 8.23 a.m. here in Numancia, Aklan in the Philippines. I'm out here because finally I am seeing some sun. It's been eight days of uh, continuous rain, cloudy weather here in the Philippines in our area. This is the first sunshine I've seen in eight days. I haven't even ridden a bumblebee in eight days now. Hopefully today the sun will shine bright. I still see a lot of clouds so we're more likely gonna get rain still today but it's just good to see some sunshine for a change. Our landscaping guy he does a good job uh, trimming this tree. I like it how he he shapes the trees here on our street. He makes it uh, like a round shape. We have one tree right there on the corner and then another one right there. And he does it for all the trees in our uh, street here and all around our subdivision. This video is based on my experiences here in the Philippines uh, getting medical care. I have a little bit of background in medical and working in hospitals. I was a medical administrative specialist in the United States Air Force, so I worked in hospitals for 20 years. Then when I got out of the military, I worked at St. Mary's Hospital in Tucson, Arizona. This video is just based on my experiences here in the Philippines. I am not a medical expert. It was nice just to uh, see the sunshine again, even for a little bit because uh, I still see some clouds. So more likely we'll still uh, get rain today. Hopefully uh, get more sunshine so I can at least uh, ride on a bumblebee because I do miss uh, riding bumblebee or tricycle. Maybe I'll just do a quick run to like 7-Eleven uh, in our small town here of Numancia. I haven't been able to uh, walk or uh, run even. Uh, most of my workouts, I've just been doing it indoors. I've been doing yoga and a little bit of uh, P90X. I follow a P90X on our TV here and uh, I exercise uh, inside the house. Today, my topic is medical care in the Philippines. My friend that's on vacation in the Philippines, uh, she contacted me yesterday and was asking me how to get uh, medical care for her mom in Cebu City. Her mom is uh, TRICARE eligible. She has uh, TRICARE insurance in the United States. TRICARE is a uh, medical insurance for uh, United States uh, military retirees and active duty and their dependents. I research available uh, TRICARE medical facilities in Cebu online and there are no preferred medical facility with regards to TRICARE in Cebu City. What preferred facility means is uh, you can go to the hospital and all you have to do is uh, pay your 25% copay and then the hospital will bill TRICARE for the rest, the 75%. But Cebu City currently doesn't have any preferred medical facility. I only found a certified TRICARE medical facility in Cebu City. The name of the hospital is uh, Chong Hua Hospital. Looks like a good hospital. I checked out their website and got the information for my friend. Here in the Philippines, you don't need a referral to see a specialist from your primary care doctor. You can go directly to the specialist. Like let's say if you wanted to see a gastroenterologist, a pulmonologist, an ENT doctor, you can go straight to the doctor's office to get an appointment. Here in our province of Aklan, a typical doctor's visit will cost you about 
500 pesos to 600 pesos, or about $9 for the visit. That's how much I pay when I see my oncologist at Asia Pacific Medical Center. I'm sure it will cost more in Cebu City or Manila because those are big cities. Usually here in the province, there is no phone number or a website you can uh, contact the clinic that you need to schedule an appointment. You just have to go to the hospital or the clinic to find out the doctor's schedule. Doctors here in the province, they usually have a clinic at several hospitals. I have a friend that works at Asia Pacific Medical Center in Calibo, which is a big help because uh, I can contact her and she can let me know uh, the different specialties, uh, the different schedules for the doctors that work at Asia Pacific Medical Center. Usually you have to go to the hospital to find out the doctor's schedule. And sometimes even on their scheduled time at the hospital, the doctors aren't available because they could be doing surgery or they could be in a meeting, uh, different reasons. I know that can be frustrating for some because you end up going to the hospital, going to the clinic, and then finding out the doctor's not even there or won't have clinic that day. And the way it works here, let's say the doctor today has a clinic at Asia Pacific Medical Center from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. What's gonna happen is when you arrive at the clinic, before 9 a.m., that way you can get put on the list. Your name is gonna get put on that list to see that doctor at 9 a.m. There could be 25 people, 30 people on that list to see that doctor at 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. So the doctor's just gonna go through all those patients. And depending on your number is when you will be seen by the doctor. So it's not like in the U.S., like if let's say you have a 9 a.m. appointment, you are the only 9 a.m. appointment. Here, it doesn't work like that. You get put on the list. So be prepared to uh, wait a little bit. Like for me, when I go to Asia Pacific Medical Center, I always bring a book, I bring my laptop. I have things that I can work on while I'm sitting there waiting. During business hours of the hospital, I recommend you go directly to the specialist that you need to see. If you go to the emergency room, more likely you will not see the specialist that you want. Normally in the emergency rooms here, there's just a doctor that's on call. That doctor could be a family practice doctor, uh, could even be a pediatric doctor because they rotate the doctors that cover the emergency room here. But when the clinics are closed, you might have no choice but go to the emergency room, like on the weekends. So expect that it might be a long wait depending on the workload of the emergency room. And again, that doctor working the emergency room on the weekends might not be the specialist that you want to see. Last year, I had to go to the emergency room at Panay Hospital because it was the weekend and the clinics were closed. I got dehydrated. That emergency room visit cost me some money because uh, multiple tests were ordered on me uh, during that emergency room visit. I actually had to have a COVID swab test too. So that's another test that I had to pay so I know if you go to an emergency room, you will just end up spending more money. So it's best if you can see the specialist directly at the clinic. But again, you know, if it's the weekend and it's an emergency, you don't really have a choice.